Man, that was like drinking awesomeness from a fire hose. Uh, let's go ahead and start off this morning's discussion on big money energy and the billionaire mindset with Tay. Man, um, so much good. Uh, I think I like the, one of the first things that he said was when he graduated and he first went to New York, he said, I gave myself two years. Uh, and I love that. And what I wrote down was give yourself time. Uh, I think within this business, many times, that's what we try to tell people is like, like, give us a year to change your life. Understanding like there's a process to it. And also there's a lot of things that you have to build, but then also like there's a lot of things you're going to have to learn and a lot of things that you're going to have to unlearn, which is those limiting beliefs and understanding like you can get in and work really hard uh, for a year and change the rest of your life. Uh, but if you give up too soon, like we pretty sure we've all saw the picture of the two guys and they're digging underground and they're digging for the diamond at the end. And the one guy gives up just short of the diamonds and the other guy digs and get it. It's that same concept. Understand, like you never know uh, when that blessing is going to come from you. So just give yourself time in whatever journey that you're in. Uh, the second thing that he mentioned, uh, he said, uh, risk is greater than regret. Uh, what I wrote down is risk is always greater than regret. Uh, and, and I love this. And I think uh, the, uh, what I wrote under that was like, a lot of people think that, you know, you shouldn't fear or like fear is just this evil thing that, you know, we just don't have. And what I wrote down was like, acknowledge the fear, but don't hold on to it. Like understand me being a person of faith, like fear isn't my portion. Faith is my portion. So when I make decisions, when I decide to do something, I'm not gonna walk in fear. I'm gonna walk in faith, but I'm going to acknowledge the fact that I may be nervous, I may be uncertain, I may not know what's gonna come about this, but it's not my job to let fear hold me back. And I think that's where a lot of people uh, kind of uh, get stuck because they see something that they're uncertain about. Uh, and I think that's how it's supposed to be because you stepping into like the unknown. You don't know what's supposed to come next, but that's part of faith, stepping out, not seeing, but stepping out in faith, believing that whatever you want is on the other end of that. Uh, the third thing that uh, he uh, said and I wrote down, he said, uh, don't write off your future. Uh, and I love that. And I love what Ed said. You, he said, you can become a, you can become a new character in your story at any given moment. Uh, and, and that's probably one of my favorites. Just personal development alone has literally changed my life because I understand like there's so much about me that I did not know about me. And it wasn't until I started digging deep within just personal development, just from just anybody who's willing to share a piece of their life and how they change their life, me understanding like, that's why I always tell people like everybody has value. When you think about the millions of books that have been read, like read, like those people came in contact with somebody that woke something up or unlocked something within them. So for me, understanding like there's always something to learn from somebody who can change uh, literally the direction of your life. So uh, just understanding like any given moment, you can decide like, this is not how my story is going to end. If life isn't going the way that you want it today, you don't have to stay stuck there. You can make a decision and change your direction at that given moment. So I love that. Uh, the third, fourth thing that he said, uh, don't let don't let your past infect your uh, present. Uh, I love that because I think a lot of people think about their past and everything that they've done, everything that they've maybe done wrong, they fail that and they think that's who they are. Uh, you have to understand that's not who you are. Uh, what I wrote down was like, don't let who you were talk you out of who you're becoming. We all have these thoughts roaming in our head daily. Like we always heard like you are the most important person that you can listen to. Like that is so key because understand like we many times are the ones that talk us out of doing things that we know we should be doing. So many times you have to just step out in faith, trust, like trust your gut instinct, trust what you're telling you to do within the inside because the person that you're gonna become is already within you. You just have to go along on this journey to like unlock certain levels of that person and become that person. So, uh, and just the last thing that I wrote down, uh, just from everything that he was saying and just about his story and how like literally if you listen to it, like he was just stepping out in faith. He refused to like give up. He knew there was something out for him and he just continued to stay on that path, making decisions. So what I wrote down was, uh, don't say no for God. Like keep asking and keep taking action. Understand like God wants to bless you, but he can't bless you if you're not giving him anything to bless. Like you have to trust, you have to step out in faith. You have to do your part, understand as long as you do your part, 
stay faithful. He's going to do his part. So uh, what I wrote down here uh, as well, it says like when we pray, we think many times uh, God is going to like, we're going to pray this one specific thing and God is going to deliver this one specific answer for us. Like, no, that's not the case. Like you're going to pray for something and God is going to send you on a journey that's going to develop you to become the thing that's going to answer your own question. They're going to provide the solutions to your own problems. So many times you have to look at things like when you, when you're like literally in some type of life situation, like what can I become because of this? And I think once you say, what can I become? Like, you're going to have the awareness to like see God in everything that you're doing. Like he's literally going to bring the right people in your, to, into your life to speak something over you. And you're going to say, okay, God, I see this piece of this puzzle that you placed here. Like, I'm going to take this and I'm going to uh, apply it to this right now. Like there's going to be so many things that you're going to be become aware of because you pray and understand like he's not going to give me what I'm asking for. He's going to give me exactly what I need. Many times it's people. Uh, many times it may be a, a word from a, a music just listen to music or a sermon or whatever the case may be understand like he's going to give you exactly what you need but you have to be aware of that understand like it's not going to look like what you think it looks like god never does that if that was the case i probably would be already sitting and just enjoying my life and just understanding like god thank you for just giving me everything i pray for now i can go on about my life but i'm on this search for just growing myself because i know in that process there's so many people that i have to get to know so many people that i have to listen to so many people that i have to help so that i can, can continue to become that person who he created me to be so uh, i just of his story from the standpoint of like like literally he stepped out in faith he took action he believed in himself and he always like he said he did everything based on commitment for me telling you guys do everything based on faith i listened to chad and uh just a couple years ago we was going through our every man is a warrior uh book and he said every day you have a choice when you get up you can feed two things you can feed your faith or you can feed your fear same concept every single day you have a choice what are you going to feed your faith or your fear and once you decide who you're going to feed those the suit those are the shoes that you have to walk in so me personally i choose to walk in faith like i said earlier that is my portion and i believe that is what god want me to have so uh this is just so much good I, i'm actually glad that you uh brought this joy because as you can tell i have this uh big money energy now that i can't wait to go and share with my wife after this so we can uh continue to spread this big money energy throughout our team i love that Tay. and that that's an amazing thing too is because energy spreads energy doesn't stay contained so when you have that energy make sure that you're passing it on to somebody else because that continues to go and like tay said make sure it goes through your entire team and by going through our entire team that means our team here is getting the energy passed over to chad so chad pick that energy up and let's expand and multiply it man big money energy that'd be a great nickname to have wouldn't it just call me big money, big money energy. Tay knocked it out of the park again. I think my favorite thing out of this whole morning so far has been don't let who you were talk you out of who you are becoming. That is powerful. And, and I think it, that part starts with knowing who we want to become and having a uh, plan. You know, who do we want to become and why and why must, why must it happen? Because things that must happen do happen. Things we want we want, but if it must happen, then it will happen. So just, uh, I've got so many, but uh, I don't want to take them all uh, this morning, Joel. So um, just to go through a few here, as I know Tay hit some of these, we, it's important. I think uh, we all agree that developing successful magnetic energy is important. And why? Because every single successful person has it. Uh, if, you, if you look across, you know, let's just say it works, for example, the top leaders in the company all have that successful magnetic energy. You know, I love Joel, how you said years ago, become an eternal optimist. You know, that eternal optimist is choosing always to see the silver lining, no matter what. So many people in this world, they'll drive the car and it's a beautiful sunset and all they can see is the bug that just died on the windshield. And they're like, I got to get my windshield clean, man. There's a dead bug there. And there's this whole beautiful world just beyond the windshield. So let's choose to see that. Um, I love, okay, when he was talking about the takeaway. Okay, the takeaway here is huge because in this business, it's about posturing. It's about knowing that we have, knowing in our knower that we have something to offer that can change someone's life. 
you know, it's kind of like this. If we all had a bag of cash, if I gave, you know, everyone listening or watching this, a bag of cash and hundred dollar bills. And I said, okay, there's a, a hundred, a hundred dollar bills in here. And your goal today is to go hand them out to people. Right. And you go to the busy corner in your street and you're handing out hundred dollar bills and, and someone would come across and you would hand them a hundred dollar bill and they would immediately fall to their knees, crying, hug you, say, you are, thank you so much. I was praying that someone would would help me out and give me a hand up. And here you are, you're an angel from heaven, right? The next person would come by and they would they would skeptically grab the hundred from you just in case it's real because they probably don't think it is because most people aren't trying to just hand out hundred dollar bills. And then you'd have the, you know, I, I always like to say there's two jokers in every deck of cards, right? So out of the 50 some people that would come by, you'd have a couple people who would just be like, you know, laughing at you and scoffing at you and oh come on get out of here with that there's no way that's a real hundred dollar bill nobody does that quit trying to cheat people rob steal from people right and isn't that similar to what we get the response we get when we offer a life-changing opportunity to someone here's the difference if you know that you're handing out hundred dollar bills to people or in it works case million dollar bills do you really care what they think of you. You don't. And it's all posturing. Posturing is saying, I'm busy. I'm running out of the house, but I got a minute here. And let me tell you about something that's life-changing and whether you receive it or not is on you. I'm just here to offer and plant a seed. We plant the seeds, God grows the trees. So I love that, that posturing um, that he talks about looking at life like the weather. Isn't that, isn't that smart? I mean, you know, don't talk about how it rained last week over and over and over. We're all going through. It's cold right now. You know, two weeks from now, some people be going, it was so cold two weeks ago. I almost froze. And then they're like in their shorts sitting outside because it's nice out now. Like, understand that the seasons are going to come and go. Um, skip that one. I'll do everything you can today to ensure that 2030 is absolutely amazing. Like take some time. Remember we did at one of our retreats, we did a party where it was like, okay, uh, tomorrow night we're going to come here as if 20 years went by and we're going to, we're going to share with each other what happened over the last 20 years. And man, some of these people, they had such big, they're like one person owned their own airline. I was like, wow, they're like a Ruby. They're like dreaming about owning their own airline. I'm like, that is cool. That's huge. So that's a great exercise just to think about you know, where you, where you really like to be. Um, you know, what do you want? You know, I'll, I'll kind of stop with this. I got a few more, but I'll just say this. Start with what do you want? Like spend some time really think about what do you want now? What must you have on that list? What must happen? And then just decide, you know, to get it. You know, our, uh, the old country boy that owned Prime America, I can't, John Addison, right? John Addison would say, you know, homicide is when someone else dies suicide is when you die and decide is when all the other options die. So what do you want? What must happen? And just decide today that it's going to happen and you're off and running. And uh, these are, these are helping me, Joel. And I know these are helping everybody else. So thank you for your commitment to this. And I left you like a lot of meat on the bone. So what you got? Well, I've got a ton to talk about when it comes to million dollar mindset and big money energy. And the first one uh, that I wanted to point out is he said, choose success first and then apply it to your business. Most people have that backwards. They put the chicken and the egg in one compartment not knowing that they're two separate things, you know, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, which came first, the thought of being successful or being successful? They're both interchangeable because you can't have one without the other. So choose to be successful and then go out and do the work as if you are successful, which is huge because you can instantly change your path just like that by changing your thought process. Because when you change your thought process, your activity level changes. And like John Maxwell always says, when you start putting it out there and you start doing the activity, the opportunity and the gifts and the tools and the supplies needed to achieve it start getting drawn to you. You know, the law of attraction works perfectly because biblically God says, I give you a vision 
and then I give you the things to accomplish it. He doesn't just give you a vision and then go, all right, guys, go figure it out. That's not how he works. He's a God that gives a vision and supplies the means necessary to achieve it. You know, you can't change your situation, but you can change the role that you play in it. You know, Ed Milet says all the time, things aren't happening to you, they're happening for you. But if you sit there and you constantly say to yourself, they're happening to you, you start developing the victim mentality within your situation versus things are happening for you, which gives you control in that situation. It gives you the ability to change the outlook of that and gives you hope versus being hopeless. Uh, this was really, really interesting. The most certain person influences the least. So if you are certain about your business and you are certain about your products and you have a certainty and a posture towards that, what it does is it gives you an added amount of influence over the person who is less sure. Uh, Stephanie says that all the time. When you're talking to a potential, you are the expert. Now that you're the expert, they are listening to you. So now you have more information. So know that when you're going into a situation with a potential loyal customer or a potential distributor, you are the expert in that conversation. Influence them and they will join you and then teach them the exact same thing. Don't let fate control your destiny. You are in control of it. Perform at the level that you want to be at and you will make it happen. You know, that's one of the things that it was so interesting, both Ed and, uh, <laughs> of, of course, I'm sitting there, Ryan. I was like, I was going to say Dave. I was like, that's not right. Both Ed and Ryan had that mindset of, uh, I'm going to faith it until I make it. They're putting in the work, they're putting in the mindset, knowing where they want to be. So instead of performing at the level that you're currently at, expecting to get a different result and get to a, a different goal, start performing at the level that's acceptable for that. You know, we talk about that as far as, you know, being ambassador, being Black Diamond, being double ambassador, being a millionaire. We don't want you to get to that level just for the mere fact of having the money, which that's good too. It's not a bad thing. But what's more important is the person that you had to become and develop into in order to get to that goal, because that can never be taken away from you. Uh, the other most important thing that we talk about when going along this journey is making sure you take quitting off the table. He said, if quitting is an option for you, you will. That's a bold statement. He says, if you leave it on the table, naturally, you will revert to it. So if you're sitting there today going, uh, I'll just try this and see if it works. Well, guess what? You're not going to work at it at a level that's going to cause it to work for you. I'm going to say that again. If you keep quitting on the table, you will never work hard enough at it to where success is the only option. Make sure that you do a gratitude journal. That's a great way, he said, to wake up in the morning. He used the Lincoln list. I don't know if you've ever heard about this, but Abraham Lincoln used to do a list where he would divide a line and on the right side, he would talk about all the good things and all the positive things. And on the left side, he would talk about all the bad things. And if one list out ran the other, that's how he would make the decision. So if, if you're making a decision based on the good things that happen, and that's what he said, if you focus on the right side of the page first, he goes, naturally, the good is going to overtake the good, or the good is going to overtake the bad, because when you focus on the good first, you continue writing. So when you focus on the bad, you'll continue writing that. So what you focus on first will dictate the direction that you go. Opportunity is everywhere. And if you're willing to stay uncomfortable, it'll be limitless. 
Uh, I like the conversation about limited success, guys. This is mind blowing, especially within our business, because people have a cap on their capacity. They get to a certain point and it's almost like they hit a glass ceiling that they can't get past. And it has to do with this thought process of limited success, which is you get to a specific rank and then you stop doing as much of the work that it took to get there because you're there. You get to double diamond and you stay at double diamond for two years. And you wonder why you're not triple. Well, what happened was you had this mindset that allowed you to get to a specific point and then you stalled because you didn't keep doing as much or more of what it took to get there. Guys, the work that it takes to get to the next level is always more than what it took to get to the level before it. That's why uh, when we're talking about video games, when you level up, the boss is always bigger. Same thing is true in this business. When you level up, the boss is bigger for the next one. You got to do more and develop more skills in order to get to that next level. Everything you do today, do to make 2030 you proud. I love, 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 love this thought process of do today for yourself tomorrow. So guys, I'll end here today and say, do for yourself today to make 2030 you proud. Go out and make it an amazing day. We'll see you here again next time. Make it awesome.